Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a Thursday morning here. At the time now is 644. We'll start with your weather photo of the day. I really like this shot. This was the full moon a few days ago that Jeff still took here. And I love the uh, the uh, shadows that you see here, the darker clouds around here, and then the lighter, almost translucent, and you got it uh, between a break uh, in the cloud cover there. You remember it was this past weekend that we had the full moon. And of course, the full moon coincided with uh, Halloween, which hasn't happened. I think it's been like 76 years that that happened and because this was the second full moon of the month of October. We call that blue moon. Remember the old phrase once in a blue moon? That's where it came from because we don't generally see two full moons in one month. It happens, but this time around it happened on Halloween. So thanks to Jeff for that. If you want to follow me on Facebook, there's been some nice comments on Facebook lately. Uh, I know you folks have uh, seen a lot of them like the change from me going to the evenings to the mornings and it's nice to be here. I, I love the morning shift. I'm kind of a morning guy. Hey, good morning, Mike. That's Mike Avery and that over here is Mike Davis. All right. Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a shout out because we do it for you and that uh, you are the folks that make it happen. If you want to follow me on Facebook, it's Kevin Craig Fox 17. If Twitter or Instagram are your thing, it's at Fox Weatherman. Yesterday I got out, cut the grass, uh, did some cleaning up around the area. Great time to do that. Great weather to be able to do that. Don't waste these days, folks, because there are uh, not many of them left. They are numbered. I've been saying all morning, maybe wash the car and wax it, put one coat of wax on it before we get into the winter time. We've got nothing on radar here. Couple of sprinkles around Chicago and Milwaukee, but it's a very dry air mass. We do have some high and middle level clouds streaming on through the area. We've got a little disturbance moving on through, creating some lift in the atmosphere, squeezing out some cloud cover. We're about halfway through this cloud mess, but there are some breaks and some thin spots in the cloud cover. We'll still see some sunshine this morning. Here's the back edge of the cloud cover. That has to move all the way through. And by the time we get into the early to mid-afternoon, it will do that. And then later on today, we'll go back to mostly sunny skies. Look at how mild these temperatures are. We are in the low to mid, even the upper 50s right now across our southern counties and frankly everywhere. Hastings is 54 degrees. Grand Rapids is 55. We're 55 in Belding. Even our northern counties in the low to mid 50s. You're going to step outside today and say, wow, it's warm out there. These temperatures right now are warmer than our average high for this time of the year. We got a, a little bit of a breeze out there. Not much coming in uh, out of the south at 10 mile per hour in Grand Rapids right now, gusting to 24 and Holland. These winds will ramp up a little bit as we get into the afternoon hours coming in out of the southwest at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So we'll start with some morning clouds through about midday. We'll call it partly cloudy to partly sunny skies. Uh, more blue sky and sunshine probably after about three or four o'clock this afternoon. Temperatures make about 65 degrees with a southwest wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. As a gauge, we made 72 in Grand Rapids yesterday. We missed a record by just three degrees. Here's future track. The model doing a very nice job picking up on the mid and high level clouds but there are some thin spots out there. These dashed black lines is the trough of low pressure, a little weak impulse of energy giving us the cloud cover by, by later on this afternoon. That's gone. Tonight we're talking about mostly clear skies as we get into our Friday here. Watch the time clock. Mostly sunny, a little bit warmer, upper 60s to near 70 degrees. By the time we get into Friday night, we've got clear skies out there as we go into Saturday. Boy, this is almost like a Hawaiian forecast or something down in the Four Corners region. Just very quiet conditions and our temperatures are really going to start to climb by the time we get into the weekend. 65 here on Thursday. Tomorrow, as we get into Friday, we're 69 degrees. Record high temperatures expected for Saturday, Sunday and Monday in the low to mid 70s. Our next rain chance will hold off now until Tuesday, maybe some showers and storms at that time. And then by the time we get into Wednesday, that's when the pattern change occurs. Take a look at the upper level pattern. These air masses are represented by the colors on the map. You can see the yellows, the oranges, the light greens. Those are temperatures well above normal. But watch what happens at the time we get into Wednesday. You could already see the cooler tones coming in that will force that pattern change and our temperatures will fall like a rock by the time we get into the middle of next week. So there is a limit, a time frame on this warm weather. So get out and enjoy it while we have the chance to do that. Mike, Deanna.